What's going on, everybody? Z here. Welcome back to some more Icarus. So we are going to continue surviving the Icarus. And we're going to continue building, doing things, doing stuff. Now, I got to say, uh, you know, the comments, the comments. You guys are commenting. It's 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 nice. And I got to say, there's a lot of love for the cave bases. I was kind of surprised. I'm not going to lie. So, um, yeah, I think what we're going to do is we're going to do the cave base. But I think we're going to do the building within the cave base because, I mean, it's a little bit of both. And hopefully we'll make both people happy. Now, this is not like my... F uh, I had, there was, uh, we need a bigger place. <laughs> I know we need a bigger place. This is just to get us started. Um, I have an idea of where we're going to like, like set up shop, but this is just to get us started. So we're good to go for getting to that area. So what I want to try to get done today is a metal tools, workbench, smelting furnace, rifle. That sounds like a lot, but I think we could probably, I think we could probably handle it. I don't think it's gonna be too bad. So, um, let's see here. I know, what do we need for machining bench? Okay, so we need the nails. So that means we have to have the anvil first. So let's go chop down some wood. Let's go chop down some trees and then we'll let the stuff smelt. And while that's smelting, hopefully it will get enough trees and stuff like that going and uh yeah awesome but yeah hopefully you guys enjoy if you do like subscribe all the fun things and let's get back to it shall we um yeah i'm just gonna harvest this tree and then we'll pop back inside and see if we can't get some more stuff going all right so we got some wood let's see we should be able let's go ahead and transfer those into there let's grab some of our ingots uh i know we need 40 for our anvil so let's go ahead and get that crafted up and then from there, we need the machining bench. So we need epoxy and rope. Now epoxy, we can turn crushed bone into epoxy. So let's go and throw that in there and let's grab our bone that we have. Let's actually grab all of that. Let's throw the bone in there. And then we'll throw the fur in here with the leather in there for now. Let's grab this anvil out of here. Uh, we might need to go hunting a little bit because let's put that right there. It's kind of like a little bit out of the way. Uh, we need to go hunting because we need more bone, but that's okay. So let's go ahead and let's max those out, craft that. And then we need epoxy nails. Are nails made in the anvil, right? Yes, they are. Okay, cool. So let's go ahead and let's grab these. Let's throw those in there. So iron nail, I think one gives us a hundred, right? Uh, or 10. Okay, so it gives us 10. Perfect. So we'll grab those out of there. Grab this in here, in here, and then... Oh, we need 120. Okay, all right. So we need 11 more. All right, so that's going, and then we need 10 epoxy and 24 rope epoxy max we can make seven okay so we're gonna have to go do a little bit of hunting so that way we can get some more bones and stuff going here you know what i bet you anything there's gonna be a rabbit sitting right here by the shoreline oh oh i hit it but i didn't kill it darn it oh 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 there goes a the rabbit got him Perfect. Rabbits are such a good, uh, such a good source of, of stuff. Oh, snap. We got him. Holy moly. All right. So there's 50 more bones. I got a few things and then we'll go ahead and turn those into crushed bone. And then we'll turn that into epoxy. So let's grab that epoxy out of there. Throw that into here. Oh, no, no, no. That doesn't need to go in there. We need to throw these in here and then we need 40 iron and three more epoxy okay let's go ahead and just max that out because i know we're gonna need the epoxy for other stuff later anyways so now we're just missing the rope which we need 24 max is 11 what is that making is that from sticks oh you know what we need the carpentry bench in order to turn wood into sticks and sticks can we turn sticks into fiber that way I feel like we probably could. I'm just going to go out and grab some fiber by hand. <laughs> I think it'll be fine. All right. So now we have enough for the machining bench. 
Um, let's see. Do I want to do that? I know we're gonna need more metal and stuff. So like, I'm I'm kind of thinking maybe we should go get a pick first. Hmm. You know what? Let's make the pick first. Let's do the pick first because I think that's gonna help us out more than anything. Uh, let's go and craft one of those. Yeah, we'll do that. Okay, and then we'll throw everything else in here. And actually, that gives us still enough for a machining bench. Let's go and get that guy going. Uh, we need some foods. Uh, do we have any delicious foods? Of course we do. Let's go and eat two of those. Let's eat some berries. Actually, I have some food that needs to be cooked. And we got food in here that needs to be cooked. And then our machining bench is good to go. Let's see if we can squeeze it in right here. Perfect. Okay. So now, from the machining bench, we need the concrete furnace. We need this cement. We need this cement mixer. More iron. Lots of iron. Jeez, Louise, we've got a lot of iron to get. Um, what's my inventory? Wait, it's not super bad. Let's go. We gotta go grab iron. Um, oh, we have a storm incoming. That's okay. Well, we're going to pop down into the uh, the river anyways. All right. Back into our wonderful, wonderful loot cave. So, basically, I'm just going to go through and I'm going to try to grab as much iron as I can hold and take it back because that's what we got to do. We got a lot of iron. All right. So, there's two loads of iron and we did get some coal. Now... What do we need here? Okay, so for the shotgun... Oh, you know what? They changed something. That's right. So the tech tree, if I remember correctly, or what I was told, was that they actually added another gun in between. It must be tier three. Uh, Let's see. Ooh, platinum stuff. Platinum hammer, platinum spear, platinum... Ooh, that's kind of fancy. Uh, let's see here. Where are you? Here we go. Okay. So, shotgun, bolt action. <gasps> the hunting rifle is level 30 now? A single shot bolt action packs a punch. Requires 40 steel. Okay, so we have to unlock this in order to unlock this. Oh. So we need to be level 30 before we can even make that, which is fine because by the time we get done crafting everything, uh, but I need 40 steel. And then uh, let's see, 40 steel. Do we need any steel for this? No. Do we need any steel for this? No. Okay. So I want to go ahead and get some steel, uh, steel bloom being made. So let's see. Steel bloom max 24. Ugh. It's actually the iron that we need to. Okay, so let's go ahead and craft that up. Um, that's like half-ish, I guess. Holy moly, we need more. Uh, we need more iron, and we gotta get everything else made. Okay, well, I guess we're gonna go grab more iron. Right, what time is it? Eighteen. You know what? Let's just go ahead and sleep for the night. Let's go ahead and do a nice snooze real quick. Nice morning time. All right, so. These aren't finished yet. Yeah, let's go grab some more iron. And wonderful. <laughs> That's basically all I do is grab iron. Okay. Back to the mine again. You know, we got a couple talent points. Let's actually go ahead and take a peek at these. Uh, let's see. What do we do for solo? What is this? Six cents increased storm detection. Uh, decrease oxygen hunger and thirst cost. That might actually be kind of cool for... Um, for the desert, reduces oxygen consumption for allies within 20 meters, reduce fall damage. Um, gives revive players more health, decrease ore weight, chance to mine, deposit in one hit. Oh, yeah, we already have that. That thing is super nice. Oh, desert master decreased thirst and move speed, decreased thirst, thirst and move speed, plus 10% movement speed in desert. Minus 25% water consumption in desert. See, that's actually pretty handy. Hmm. And the problem with these is that I don't need... What is this? Reduce fall damage. I need something in order to get down to here. 
but that means I'd have to get reduced fall damage, increased resistance to exposure, increased recovery from exposure. See, I don't really care about I don't really care about those, but this uh this desert master might actually be pretty handy. You know what? Let's do let's minimize our, our thirst rate. I think that's gonna help out in the desert. Um and then do we have a reduce mining stamina? That would be nice. Reduce durability loss on pickaxe. Reduce stamina cost on pickaxe. Oh, that would be nice. Of course, that's only good for mining, though. Maybe we should stick with survival. Yeah, let's just do that. All right. Time for more iron. And there's level 30. Actually, let's go ahead and unlock the uh, the rifle right now while we're thinking about it. Hunting rifle. Why won't that unlock? New tier unlocked fabricator. That's weird. Oh, now it went. Okay. Uh, fabricator. Oh, coming soon. Okay, so there's no tier four stuff. Okay, cool. Um, looking good. All right, so let's see. What can we make now? 24 and 24. Okay, so we don't need 24. Uh, we only need, what, 16 more steel, I believe. So let's go ahead and craft those up. And then once that's, like, all done with that, we can go ahead and get the rest of the iron made. Okay, so we need a cement mixer. So I need iron nails, rope, iron ingots, stone, and wood. So let's see. Let's snag out of here. Uh, we've got we've got stone. We've got some wood. Uh, we probably... Did we need rope for this thing? We did. So 20 ingots, 8 rope. Get the 8 rope going. And then we got 20 ingots. And then we need 8 nails. Let's see. Let's go ahead and grab a stack of ingots out of here. Go into here. 8 nails. So we only need 1. Craft that. That's going to give us 10. And then there's our cement mixer. So let's get that guy going. Now, the reason we need all this is just so we can get to the concrete furnace. <laughs> oh, how wonderful, right? Exactly. Um, and then this guy, we need it to magically place down somewhere. That works for me. Okay, and then what do we need for this guy? I want to get just everything ready for this guy as well. So we need eight rope, 12 epoxy. We need some concrete mix. All right, I've been trying to gather animals along the way. So that way we can get more epoxy. Craft all those up. And then, oh, we got 100 bone right there. Heck yeah, we do. And I'm pretty sure we actually need, for the concrete, I think we need, we need tree sap, stone silica. Uh, tree sap is made out of sticks. Oh, and we use the carpenter bench to turn wood into six. Oh, that's right. Okay. Uh, um, how much tree sap do we need? It's only one. One for one, and we need how much? How much concrete mix do we need for this guy? Twenty. So we really only need twenty. Okay, that's not that bad. We could we could probably manage that. Uh, let me just grab the sticks out of here. Throw those in there. Tree sap max. See, I only need twenty, so we'll be all okay with that. Holy moly. All right, so the last thing we need is stone silica so we can get our concrete. Now, actually, silica I should have plenty of. Um, and let's just go ahead and... Oh, man, if I could get a one, one hit on the stone, that'd be so nice. Ooh, 20 exact... Oh, it's because we... <laughs> Only had 20 tree stuff. I was like, there's no way. But yeah, if I, if I only had 20 of those. Okay, so those are going now. What do we need for our hunting rifle? 40 steel ingots. Okay, and that's what we need for this. 40 steel ingots, some screws, leather, wood, epoxy. Okay, so we should be good for everything else pretty much. Um. Oh, the biofuel drill. Interesting. I'm pretty sure this is a quest item or like what we need. Is that, does it, does that, is that in the tech tree at all? A biofuel, dr biofuel drill. That sounds amazing. 
Uh, biofuel rapidly dec decomposes organic matter into biofuel, which is collected by adding a biofuel can. That sounds really fun. We might have to check that out. Okay, so there's that. Let's go in here, grab this. This guy, uh, concrete furnace. Craft for that bad boy. Oh, thank goodness. This guy's so nice and teeny tiny. I love it. All right, and then this guy, we don't need anything in here. Let's go ahead and pull all this out of there. And we're just going to throw all of that into here. Just so we know where it's all at. And then we need our bloom. Steel bloom. Throw that into there. Activate. That's going to give us 40 steel ingot. Yep, it's a 40. It's a one for one. Perfect. So it's going to give us 40, um, 40 steel. And then what else do we need for the hunting rifle? Um, eight leather. Oh, I need one more steel. Actually. Let's go ahead and just make one more steel. Okay, so that's going. That's doing its thing. I think we're good. I think we need to go get sulfur. We need to make some gunpowder. Oh, actually, you know what? All that charcoal we have in there. Let's go ahead and throw that into this guy. Because we need gunpowder. So we just need to go get a whole bunch of sulfur. And we'll be good. Let's get some food in our bellies as well. And is there any, any meat in here? Yes, there is. I always try. I, I, I know I forget this all the time, but I, I try to remember it. <laughs> oh, we're in a storm right now. Okay, we're not going outside. So let's go ahead and let's grab this steel. And let's throw that in. Oh, that's actually a machine bench item, isn't it? Uh, steel screw one that's gonna make a hundred perfect and then all we need is the stealing it oh and the leather grab the leather out of here and yeah we're just waiting for the steel ingots awesome okay so now that the storm has passed uh we are gonna go grab some sulfur so we can make some uh some gunpowder and then we are actually going to go and scope out the cave that we're supposed to be going through in order to get to the desert area and that's actually where we're going to be building our base that's going to be the main base of operations now i don't want to go into the desert yet i want to get some armor um and i don't know which armor i want to get yet but i want to get some armor and then i want to finish like getting you know the a full set of metal tools at least iron maybe steel steel would be nice but you know i'm not holding my breath on that so um, just want to get prepared before we actually head out to the deserty area. Whoa! What? Why is this out of... What? Why is this out of bounds? What the heck? What is that about? You can't go further back than that? That is, I just want that sulfur. Oh shoot, I'm encumbered. Oh my gosh. Oh, okay, don't do that. Note to self, do not do that. Uh, let's go ahead and drop. What does that put us at? Not dropped enough. Um, oh, I also did make some antibiotic paste. Now, I'm aware that this doesn't fix my uh, my ammonia condition. It just cuts the time in half. It's because I don't have an herbalism bench yet, and we haven't got to that point. So we will get there. You know what? I'm going to just drop those sticks. Wait, how do those sticks not weigh anything? Are you kidding me? How about now? Oh, my gosh. Okay, you know what? We're just going to walk slowly back because I, <laughs> I want... All of the sulfur. We need maximum powdered. You know what? I do have six talent points. Um, we could make ores way less. Decrease ore weight in your inventory. Oh, no. Ha-ha! Winning! Actually, you know what? There's some solo stats for this, isn't there? Isn't there increase base health regen, base health... You know what, let's hit those up. I mean, we're playing solo anyways. All right, let's drop off all of this sulfur and gunpowder max, 100, heck yes. 
We're probably going to need more iron than anything, but that's okay. That is a good problem to have. We'll drop the coal off in here as well. Let's see. I have iron going in here. We can deactivate that. What's this guy doing? Nothing. Deactivate that. Let's go and grab our steel ingots. Put those in there. And then, boom. Hunting rifle. Oh, that right there is so nice. And then we'll go ahead and put our bow there. Okay. So now that we have the hunting rifle... We can safely go to the cave where I want to make my next base place. So I'm actually going to, I think what we're going to do is I'd like to make some stone. Oh, we need the masonry bench. I'd like to make some stone uh, floors, stone beams. So we could go to our next base place. We can set down a floor and then start moving all of our equipment over there. I think that'd be super super nice how's this going 58 59 60 let's go ahead and take those i think uh rifle rounds are made here yes they are okay so an incendiary round is 10 gunpowder and one ingot hmm i don't know that we need incendiary rounds and i i feel like a regular rifle round is probably going to do everything we need to do But maybe it might be good to take some of these to the desert area. So, you know, let's just start with some regular. Let's just start with some regular rounds. Let's do. Um, let's Yeah, let's do 48 of those. And then we can go and check out our next area. We need to make the masonry bench, though, as well. Jorn. And what do you know? I have pneumonia again. <laughs> <gasps> Wonderful. Um, once we get to our next base, I think we are going to make the dehumidifier. And we're going to try out that stuff. I'm going to take a little bit more time getting to, like, the, the, the end point in this in this one. Because I kind of want to check out some of, like, the other stuff that I haven't checked out, you know? Like, I always kind of, like, just boom, rush, straight to the objective, and then we're done. You know? They're like, there's no fun. There's no, like, base building. There's no, like, checking out the new stuff. So I think we're going to do some of that before we head over there. But that is actually going to end this episode so thank you so much for coming out hopefully you enjoyed if you did make sure you leave a like if you're new here don't forget to subscribe as well for some more and uh leave a comment down below let me know what you're thinking of icarus i'm having a good time so far there's a few things that i'm like curious and waiting to see about that like i really want to see you know like game mechanics and stuff like that like you know the space station upgrades things like that but all in due time uh, but yes next episode we're gonna make a masonry bench i think in here and then we're going to get stone floors. We're going to carry stone floors over to our next base place. And we're going to lay out a stone floor. And then, like I said, we're going to build a structure inside of the cave right next to the desert area. And then uh, kind of play with that. So, yeah, I'm super excited. Thank you again for coming out. Have a wonderful day. And I'll see you next time.